Let's imagine for a few moments what our life would be like if we could access, let's say, 20% of our brain's capacity. This first stage would give us access to and control of our own body. Sir? Yes? Has it been proved scientifically? Well, for the moment, it's just hypothesis, I confess. But if you think about it, it's troubling to realize that the Greeks, the Egyptians, and the Indians had notion of cells centuries before the invention of the microscope. And what to say about Darwin, whom everybody took for a fool when he put forth his theory of evolution? It's up to us to push the rules and laws and go from evolution to revolution. <laughs> 100 billion neurons per human, of which only 15% are activated. There are more connections in the human body than there are stars in the galaxy. We possess a gigantic network of information to which we have almost no access. Sir? Yes. And what would be the next stage? Well, the next stage would probably be control of other people. But for that, we would need to access at least 40% of our brain's capacity. After control of ourselves and others, would come control of matter. But now we're entering into the realm of science fiction, and we don't know any more than a dog who watches the moon. Excuse me, sir? Yes. But what would happen if, for some reason, we ignore somebody unlocked 100% of the cerebral capacity? 100%? Yes. I have no idea. <laughs>